So the first thing I'm going to do, in case you guys missed it, because you were probably in this concrete cinder block line building with me at sunset, that's what it looked like tonight. Sunset happened at 725. We took the camera that we have on the roof here, King, and turned it to the west out over the sound. So yes, the light of sunset was pretty, especially as it starts filtering through. I'm going to get out of the way of that. And when you watch the ferries go by. But look at the clouds building out there, those cumulus clouds that are building. Let me show you this from an even higher view. We're going to switch now to the satellite from this afternoon. Plenty of clouds over us. It's probably hard to even pick out where we are, but there's the sound. But what I want you to watch is this right out here. Look at that little counterclockwise curly cue. That's where you can pick out the parts that matter. That's a little area of low pressure that brings its own energy with it. And if you're wondering why maybe you got a brief little downpour at some point this evening, it's because this thing came on shore and passed overhead. In fact, let's switch over to the weather computer and we'll see this on the radar. And it's not just light greens on here that you're looking at. You've got some yellow and oranges on here, and the yellow and oranges on this radar tell you where the rain's coming down a little bit heavier. We come in for a couple of close-up spots here and pick out a few of them, but the best way to look at this is to now put this into the future cast using the UW High Resolution Forecast. This is the exclusive information coming out of the University of Washington in our partnership with them that gives us a real specific detailed look at the forecast. And there are a couple of things we're going to pick out here. Uh, mainly Saturday afternoon is the main thing I want you to watch and we're going to get there in a second, but let's play forward. We're starting out here tonight on Thursday. We're going to play this through. Here is tomorrow in the afternoon. Another round of scattered showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm comes on shore. Notice how this for tomorrow afternoon looks a lot like the radar I was just showing you now. All right, so now we know tomorrow going to be a lot like today. Another great cloud show more possibility for scattered showers, but most of us probably won't get a whole lot. Like I got sprinkled on outside today for about 10 minutes and that was it. That's how most of us have experienced this, but Saturday's different. Here's Saturday morning, bright and early at 6.30, or I should say cloudy and early at 6.30. There's a nice little band of rain covering most of the sound, but watch the afternoon. Now there's a lot more of it. Look at that organized line right there. Anytime you see an organized line, you know you're going to be getting some decent rain out of it like that. And this is right through the heart of the day on Saturday. So this is why I said we're going to look at Saturday. This will be one of the more noticeable rainy days. Of, the, of this whole period, in fact, of the, the last five, six days has looked like this. But Saturday, we should all get in on the act. So if you got outdoor plans for Saturday, Saturday is going to be the day to plan on some rain. Now, Sunday's the day we're doing the parade and the storm are coming home to celebrate. And that is a day you should go to the parade. Do not let this forecast. In fact, if I've got a minute or just need a second, really, I want you to see the forecast for the storm's parade. Uh, yes, it'll be a bit cloudy out there, but it will be turning partly sunny as we get through the parade. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 60s. Any rain will not be the kind of rain that should ruin that celebration. I think we can handle it here. All right, there's the rest of your seven day forecast. So we're done with the rain completely by Monday and then it's sunshine and upper 60s for much of next week.